with your boy. Back for another one. What are we going to talk about today? Because I always say a thousand different things we could talk about. But only so little time to cover them all. Today, we're going to talk about the brainwash. Because these people, they swear they're the smartest people on the planet. They walk around like they're the intellectuals. You always see them people going so hard for the government when they're supposed to be the opposite. The government is supposed to, is supposed to support you, but people support the government. How does that work? Do they vote for you or do you vote for them? Quite interesting when you hear the Supreme Court ruling about Roe v. Wade, as soon as it was overturned, people started to lose their mind. All of a sudden, you hear a woman complaining about the right to kill babies. That's, that's their words, not mine. They said they want to kill babies. That's their word. I'm just quoting them. These people don't got no common sense. No morals. Anytime you got a riot because you didn't get your way, because things didn't fall the way you wanted them to fall, that says a lot about yourself as a person. What's interesting is that when you look at the pictures of these people, most of them seem to be white liberals. Now, a lefty's a lefty. Doesn't matter if you're brown, white, or whatever. A lefty's still a lefty. They really don't stand for anything. In fact, whatever the media tells you to be outraged against, that's what that's what you support. You never reach your own conclusions. You don't do your own research. None of that. I mean, it's plain as day. These people have been indoctrinated into a satanic new world order. What do I always say? They're a death cult, right? That's exactly what they are. Everything they do is built upon death. Whether it was George Floyd, whether it's the death of babies, it all seems to be centered around death. Now, if the Bible says that Satan's a murderer, and these people commit murder, what does that tell you? It tells you that they stand with Satan. But the crazy thing about that is Satan doesn't stand with them. He never will stand for them. He never will stand with them. They're just what you call useful idiots. Get used to that term because you're going to see that used a lot. Now these Satanists cannot themselves enforce their ideology. They can't do that without their support. And most times, it's lefties. You can go throughout the history of this country. It's always been lefties. Let's go back to the Civil War era. Who was it that started a nation within a nation because they didn't want the slaves to be free? That would be lefties. Who was it that started the KKK and were its members that went around murdering people of color murdering white conservatives that would be lefties ain't nothing changed the bible says there's nothing new under the sun and that statement holds true today heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall say the same Who voted for us not to 
be free. That'll be lefties. Who voted for us, who voted against us having the right to vote. That would be lefties. Then they come around. After they cause a problem, they pretend to solve the problem. And then you have the same brain dead people within society that support them. You take away the brain dead degenerates and their agenda is dead in the water. Why am I so hard against lefties? Probably because they're the biggest problem in society. They're outraged when the media tells them to be outraged. There's been stories of trailers filled, of, filled with illegals all the time being caught. And there's more to that story than the media lets on. They don't tell you about the cartels and the coyotes when they put those people in their trucks. They don't tell you about them calling the people's families, telling them if they don't send them money that they're going to die. The people in the back of the trucks are going to die. It's extortion, it's blackmail, it's murder. And that's what you support when you support open borders. Now, my Bible says God will not be mocked. He will not be mocked. And these people try to make a mockery of the Almighty's name when they say it's your God given right to kill a baby. I'm pretty sure that there's borders in the Bible. All this open border crap. First of all, open borders is just another word, another catchphrase. The same as my body, my choice is a catchphrase. Open borders is just a catchphrase for New World Order, one world government, one world religion, one world currency. And what's funny about all this? is that these people in the same boat that we're in they gotta pay the same ridiculous prices for food gas inflation effect affects them and they seem not to get it well, why don't they get it you can go back to first chapter of Romans or just Bible in general professed on himself to be wise they became fools all these people seem to do is complain cry and throw temper tantrums they don't offer solutions it's their way or no way you want to see the racism come out real quick in the liberal just disagree with them that's all it takes have your own opinion Think for yourself. Do your own research. How many times have you seen a white liberal get caught using racial slurs or just being racist in general? How many times? But somehow, they don't use that language in the company of those that agree with them. They don't use that language when other races are brainwashed and they agree with them why is that? let me answer that that's because the white liberal is only interested in those who they can control first of all I'm not a victim second of all I can stand for myself third of all I don't need a single white liberal in my corner. Now I know there's different levels to liberalism, but at the end it's still the same. An orange is always going to be an orange. A stop sign is going to be red. And a liberal is going to be a liberal. There's different levels to it. But some of these people there's no hope for them. They're too lost. God has turned them over to a reprobate mind. 
some of these people actually once had a relationship with God but because they worship the creature and not the creator they've been turned over to a reprobate mind these people once again try to mock God try to rewrite God's law but God makes it perfectly clear what he stands for he's not going to change his words just because some government declares something to be something different than what it actually is you could tell these liberals to eat a turd sandwich and it, and it cures COVID. The next thing you know, they'll be eating turd sandwiches. These people are uncomfortable in their own skin. These are the most miserable people on the planet. Nine out of ten mass shooters, they're lefties. Go from Givaldi, go to Columbine, go to Parkland, go to Buffalo. San Bernardino shooting, Vegas shooting, go on and on and on. They were all lefties. When you have an absence of God, you have the presence of Satan. Let me say that again. When you have the absence of God, you have the presence of Satan. It's either one or the other, but we're given a free will to pick and choose. God gives us free will. Satan enforces his will upon people. There's a difference. Some of these people consider themselves Satanists, not knowing that Satan himself marches them towards the hellfire. They're going to stand before God. They're not going to be able to use no excuse. It's not going to be no because I've seen it on TV, I've seen it on social media. No. You're going to burn for eternity and eternity forever and ever and those flames just like your hatred will never be extinguished that's all I got I'll catch you on the next one peace I'm out